been a while. It's been like three or four weeks since I've made a video and I'm so sorry. I've just had a lot going on and I'm finally back to regular scheduled videos and I'm going to make it Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, for when I upload videos and everything. So that's going to be the set days and it's going to happen. I promise. I'm not going to like flake out on you guys and stop making videos. That's not going to happen. So just know that. So today I'm going to show you how I do my winter makeup routine and it's pretty simple. It's just a little bit darker and uh, more defined and stuff like that for winter time. But yes, so that's what I'm doing today and I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you'd like to see how I do my everyday winter makeup, just keep on watching. Alright, so to get started, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin back my hair so it's not in my way. My hair is crazy today, guys. Just like, don't even pay any attention to it. It's just like a mess. I know. So first I'm going to start with my Chanel Vitalumier Aqua Foundation. And this is by far like my favorite foundation ever. I really, really like it. So I'm just shaking it up to kind of get it um, mixed together and everything like that because with the Chanel foundation you do have to uh, shake it up. So this is just a sample of the Chanel um, Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. And it comes in this little like container thing and I'm just wiping off um, the excess of what's on this thing. And I'm just going to sit that to the side because I like to put it on my um, hand and then use a brush. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques stippling brush to apply my foundation and I just got this brush recently and I am in love with it. Like I don't want to use anything else to put my foundation on now. Like this brush is amazing and I definitely recommend it to anybody for foundation. It is just the greatest. So I'm just dabbing it on my hand, just getting the product on the brush and then I'm just dabbing it on my face. And if I don't get enough product on my face, I will dip the brush into the uh, foundation thing and I'll get a little bit of product there and just dab it on my face a little more for a bit more coverage. And now I'm just blending it using little circular motions. This is a really nice foundation too. Like I really, I love this foundation. It's, it's a nice coverage, but it's not like too much coverage, if you know what I mean. It's not, it doesn't like make you look all cakey and stuff, which is really what I love about this. And I basically just keep um, blending just to make sure I have a really flawless finish. So now that the foundation's done, I'm going to take my concealer. And this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi um, something and something. I think it's a highlighting concealer. I don't know. The, uh, the writing has got rubbed off. So I'm just taking this right underneath the eye to hide my dark circles and I'm just kind of doing it in like a V. Because this is a brightening um, concealer, it brightens the under eye area very nicely. And I'm just taking it across here where I get redness and blemishes and down here where I also have some blemishes. So now that I look super crazy with my concealer on, I'm going to just take my fingers and blend it in. So now that the concealer's done, I'm going to take some powder, and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, and in the color 003 Natural, and this is my favorite um, pressed powder, like, 
it just works really well. And I'm using this small powder brush to apply it. And I really like using this powder brush because you can get into the smaller areas of your face and it just m makes a really nice matte finish to your makeup and I really like it. And as you can see, it just takes away all that shine, which I love. So I'm just putting this powder all over my face just to make sure there's no shine or any like oiliness or anything like that. So next I'm going to move on to the eyebrows and I'm using this Browsing Baked Duo Brow Powder by Real Colors. Um, I got this at Sally's, Sally's Beauty Supply, and I'm not familiar with uh, this brand or anything. But it has these really nice, um, these two really nice colors. I kind of use a mix of the lighter color and the darker color to fill in my brows. So, And I don't get a lot on my brush. I usually just tap it off like a lot. Because um, I don't like a really strong brow. Um, so I'm just filling them in where um, they're kind of sparse. And this brush I also got at Sally's and it has a little spool on one side and then it has the little um, a little angled brush so now I'm going to take this spool side and I'm just gonna go over my brows with it So starting with the eyes, I'm going to use this Benefit Stay Don't Stray primer, and um, I really like this primer a lot. So first I'm taking this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe. And it's just like a really nice matte taupe color, and I really love this color. So I'm just taking it on my finger, and um, as you can see, it's kind of a purpley uh, toned taupe. And I'm just taking this all over the lid. And as you can see, it's not too dark, but it's like, it just gives a really nice color to your lid. And now I'm just blending it out at the edges. So next I'm going to take this brush, and this is um, a Rite Aid Renewal brush, I'm not sure, but it's kind of shaped in a U shape, or an N something, and I'm just taking a little bit of this Tough as Taupe color, and just on the tip of it, and I'm going to put this right underneath the lower lash line. So next I'm taking Naked Lunch by MAC and I'm putting this on the inner half of the lid. Next I'm taking Hoax by MAC and I'm just putting this in the crease.
And I'm going from the outer corner um, and kind of sweeping it and going up a little bit further than you usually would for a crease color. And I'm also taking it on the outer half of the lid. And I'm taking just a little bit on the tip of the brush and going just on the outer corner to kind of connect these two. So now I'm taking this big fluffy crease brush to blend everything. Next I'm taking this Wet n Wild palette and it's called Sweet as Candy, but I'm just using the brown color in the palette. And I'm also using this e.l.f. contour brush and it's kind of just a small contour brush. And I'm just doing this to kind of deepen up um, the crease a little bit and also onto the um, the outer edge just a little bit as well. Now I'm just going to take the highlight color from the Wet n Wild palette and I'm just going to put this in the inner corner and on the brow bone. And I'm also going to work it down onto the inner part of the lower lash line and then work it into that Naked Lunch color. So now I'm going to do my eyeliner and I use this Maybelline Eye Studio um, Gel Liner and this is like my favorite eyeliner ever. It's so easy to apply and it's just all around just easier for me. So I'm just using this small um, eyeliner, it's like a smudge brush I think, but I got this at Sally's uh, Beauty Supply. So as you can see, I just kind of winged it out just a small amount, not too, too much. And now I'm just going to do the other eye. Okay, so my eyeliner is done now, and as you can see, it just kind of wings out a little bit, and it's more thicker towards the middle, and that's how I normally wear it daily. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Iced Mocha, and this is my first NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I really really like it and I'm just going to line my waterline with this. Next I'm taking my NYC um, waterproof eyeliner pencil just to line the tight line just to make sure it's very black. So now that the eyeshadow and the eyeliner is done, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and just try to get 
all of my lashes in there and then just pump down on them. And I like to bring it upwards. I just feel like I get a better curl that way. So now I'm going to add some mascara and I'm going to use this Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. And this mascara is amazing. I really like this and the their real mascara by Benefit. I think Benefit has some really good uh, mascaras. So I'm just wiping off the excess like on the end of the brush and then I'm going to apply it. So I just go on top of them and curl them and then I go back to wiggling So I'm going to finish my lashes off by adding Their Real Mascara by Benefit. And this brush is really nice for like separating your lashes. So now my top lashes are done and I'm going to take the same mascara, the Benefit They're Real, and do my bottom lash. So now I'm going to finish my face. So first I'm going to start with some NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And uh, this is just, I'm going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks to kind of give myself some cheekbones. And I'm just kind of going from here all the way to the corner of my mouth. Not all the way down, but just in that area right there. And I'm also putting it on the tops of my temples, across the forehead, and right down the nose. And then just right at the ends of my cheeks and on my neck. Next I'm taking my new e.l.f. blush and this is in the color Tickled Pink. So I'm just taking my stippling brush by Real Techniques to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and working it up. I'm also going to take this Sugar Balm by Benefit and it's just this really nice like blush um, and it's got a few different colors in it like a darker color, um, a couple pinky colors and then like an orange um, but it's just a really nice um, blush and I like to use the pinker colors and then kind of dab it around and then just put it on my cheeks and work it up. And it just gives like a really nice flush of color with these two colors mixed. This one put on first and then this one last. So next I'm going to take High Beam by Benefit and apply this to my cheekbones. Just a tiny bit. I'm just rubbing that in on um, my cheekbones. So for my lips, I'm going to add this Revlon Lip Butter in the color Berry Smoothie. And this is like, I love this color. Um, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. So that 
that is it for my everyday winter makeup routine and this is what I wear every single day and I just really like it. I think it's really classic and simple and I kind of switch it up a little bit on the eyes but other than that it's pretty much basic everyday just like this neutral and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments if you prefer this kind of tutorial where I kind of talk through it or if you would rather prefer um, a voiceover kind of tutorial. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think about that. And also make sure to check out my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram because you can follow me there and talk to me and things like that. So yeah, that is it and I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, so I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye!